Absolutely. So we are going to see how things uh, roll out here. When it comes to, uh, uh, to sets. Saying, he's saying 0-3? to three? Is that what he's oh? oh, he wants to say 0-3. Oh, okay. That's what it was looking like right there. Okay. All right. All right. I see how it is. Rowan trying to get a little bit of shade going. <laughs> but here we go. Let's see. We got... Rowan and Pycor. Ooh, 11 and 16 in games. Ooh. Two and six total in sets. So Pycor definitely has the advantage here over Rowan in two, typical tournament yeah. environments. So that does not mean that things are not uh, going to uh, uh, to swing one way or the other pretty wildly. Like these two are yeah. more or less pretty even when it comes down to things. It looks like we're going to be getting a bit of a button check, just some dash dancing. A little bit of movement going. Yeah, exactly. Despite maybe one player has the advantage, but they've lost to the other, right? So really, yeah. in an environment like this at EVO. Oh, wait, no, we're playing. When all the lights are on, it is time to show out. <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks like Rowan is going to be going low for the recovery, but ends up going just a little bit too high, and that might be a death right there. Oh, my God, Piker holding up the one. Oh, the shine say. spike is going to be the thing. He's up on stage, and he's enjoying himself gesturing to all of his fans out there. <laughs> yeah, y'all can see, but legitimately putting the one up in the middle of playing the match, not even when he was dead. Oh, not even yeah. during those moments of downtime. Oh, yeah. No, he knew exactly what he had to do to get underneath uh, Rowan's, uh, Rowan's recovery there, and that is exactly what happened. But as we go, oh man, using the shine to get away from the uh, uh, the upbeat that goes through stage there, and now going to neutral, Rowan's gonna be the one to find the, uh, the next hit, tries to go all in with the down tilt, but ends up getting called out for it. And, you know, Pycor, a very confident player, from what I understand, also has a rivalry with Wildwind, so this is a, oh, uh, just yeah. the lady, latest iteration of the two. Oh, absolutely. These guys are uh, these guys have been fighting for a very, very long time when it comes to the, uh, uh, when it comes to results. And Rowan wants to prove himself every single time. Uh, Pycor not always letting that happen, to be honest. And then there <laughs> yeah, it is. The exactly. call out with that side B is going to put Rowan down two stocks. He's barely gotten 50 damage up. And here we go, trying to go for that nair. Ends up going low. The side B is going to be uh, a pretty safe option to return to stage. He's going to take a little bit of chip damage as a result, though. Yeah, Pycor has uh, taken very little damage in general here. Still on four stocks, still in the blue bands as well. Like, yeah. just oh, rocking man. and rolling in the driver's seat. Oh, yeah, and then here we go, using the uh, the floating nair to make his way in. Unable to find that bear. And then here we go, back into neutral. He's going to use the shine dancing to, to extend, but Pycor is able to call it out with that back air. Oh man, these two are now dancing and slugging it out hit for hit here. Pycor's gonna be the one to take the next big one. And yeah, if you're Rowan, it's dangerous getting into a slugfest right now. You're down oh, too yeah. much to really afford that. You gotta start playing clean and not let them hit you. Yeah, you really can't afford to be taking hits, but here we go. From center, the bear is gonna whiff. Oh, he ends up calling out the parry. He's put into crit state. That increases damage and decreases knockback, but increases hit lag as oh, a result. Boy. So you can just Keep somebody there and pummel them. That's what we're gonna need right now. Oh, and we do see that. Two! He's holding up the two! To Pycor oh, here. My Lord. One stock away from smoking him. And there is the up till he waits for the up air. And here we go, Rowan trying to make his way in with that Nair. Ends up finding the backer, sends him off right here. The Beyblade's gonna go out just to give Pycor a little bit of horizontal momentum. And here we go. He's just like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta approach me right now. I don't know what you think you are, but here it is. He's calling him out on every situation. Calls it the burst. burst. Oh, he's flexing. My he's flexing in the player cam. Hanging off the ledge, and then there it is. Rowan taking it. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. You know I'm up three. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, he just tossed his hands up like, oh, you got a stock. I'm not impressed to be honest. Yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta take the game if you want to, uh, if you want to pop off. Oh, he tried to pop off early. Oh, the kid's getting a little bit cocky here. And below the platform, he's getting up whipping a pair. He's throwing out a few F tilts just to give himself a little bit of space. But making his way off, he's able to just mess with him. Rowan finally calling out the second, uh, the second side beat. There it is, the trade on set on ledge. He tries to charge up an up tilt, but not gonna work. Rowan now chasing him down, getting huge combos off that shine stall. Yeah, going oh. high, and there it is! First one is going to give Pycor that first game. Oh yeah, he loves hearing it, he loves hearing it. Pycor is here to put on a show, more so to play than oh, to play the game. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah, oh, kiss the bicep. Oh yeah! Ooh, showing off the ink, I like it. Reminder, this kid is 17. Hey, he's only 17 and this talented so far, what we got here? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, Rowan showing off the cipher. The cipher, the I feel it. The community made a cipher a little while back, and that is what Rowan is going to be playing as we uh, move into the next game here. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's got the headphones in. He's going to oh, be yeah. grooving. Oh, yeah. No, he's here He's here to play right now. I like that. He's uh, calling on the community for the power-up, right? I like it a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. You got to. But, man, what a show Pycor put on in that first set match. You definitely oh, need to change man. up something, right? You want to find something, whether it be yeah. the song, whether it be some strategies. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I imagine the stage is going to be really, really important as we go into this. Even with the whipping that's happening, it looks like we're going to be going to Sovereign. Three, no two, platforms, no one, funny business, run. just a moonlit sky, and two players ready to duke it out. Here we go. It looks like Rowan is going to be the one to take the first big interaction and shove Pycor below the ledge line. Yeah, and make his way back. Rowan's got to turn the aggression up, right? He's really got to switch oh, up. Oh, yeah, what double last up game. tilt. Oh, my God, he gets a oh, shine spike, nearly killing him. Oh, my God, he oh. actually got him. It's no, oh. Rowan. <laughs> no, man. Did, wait, did he just hold me? Yeah, I mean, he might have, honestly. He just stood there. He was at the wall and was like, oh, I'll just fall down here. It's all good. Yeah, you know, I'll. I'll I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I'll grant you that. Still, still keeping some sportsmanship, even after, uh, even after kind of rubbing it uh, as much as he can in terms of uh, salt and wound. But there it is. Even and after flexing in his face. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> literally. Was, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, you know, if you got ink like that, I'd say show it off. Facts. I agree. Like kids got a better sleeve than people my age. <laughs> That's a good point. Yes, facts. Oh yeah, and then here we go with the uh, the overextension on the uh, the nair. It looks like Robin is going to be taking a little bit of a room here, trying to drop the red horn. He's going to get big punish blue shine. He actually goes down for the side B to try and kill him off the side, and there it is, calling out that parry. Oh, we live for now. Yeah, you can't be throwing that stuff out. You can't be Daigo in this situation. There's the back air trying to go for the grab. It looks like Rowan is going to get sent below the ledge line again, forced into a recovery position. He ends up finding a big bit. Oh, my God! Oh, full no! charge, bro. Pycor thinking he's going to let it go. He ends up just full hubris right on stage. <laughs> I was real hedonism bot of him, bro. <laughs> Like legitimately. Oh lord! And here we go. The up tilt, trying to go for that uh, that down beat, but it ends up getting bursted out. That could have been really, really bad for Rawin there. That would have been a, a vertical combo, which will kill you very early with Blue Sword. Here we go. The shines are going to come out to give a little bit of movement and control to Pycor here. Try and take as much stage control and limit Rawin's option. He's able to find that narrow and send him off left. Big charge shine for 20 damage. Oh, lord! Yeah, it's in a huge chunk right there. Oh, Put yeah. him in red and oh. now. Oh. Try to get him again with it. Didn't yeah, quite get the connection. The oh, no. He actually didn't pull the trigger on it. I was surprised there. And then here we go. Falling down with a nair. Robin taking center stage. Trying to make his way up. But there it is. The up tilt is going to give Pycor the uh, the advantage. The shine is going to give it to him. Oh, my God. He actually misfaced it. But he ends up finding the parry out of the scramble. We are now 2-2. Pycor throwing the bags down. Uh, yeah, Rowan, Yeah, Rowan, Rowan giving him a little bit of respect here. Like, these guys are so talented and skilled in the game. Like, you ha like they have to respect each other no matter what. There it is. The parry is going to end up being unanswered as Pycor is going to try and chase Rowan down. He finds the Paralyzer. F-tilt, side B. Oh, my God. He calls out the, uh, the tech, but he ends up not hitting it in fear of the parry. That is going to be the stock. And she brought it immediately. Just back oh, at it, yeah. trying to not let Pycor get your breathing room here. Oh, oh but yeah. Pycor to oh. one turn it around, burst Man, out. Man, you could see him hesitate there as if he knew the burst was going to go out, but he wanted to get the damage in because he's uh, he's in the bad position here. But there it is, Rowan oh. pushing his advantage, calling out the tech. I oh, the flames are over this action might be in here. He's able to find the, uh, the side beat into that super drop forward air, unable to find the up air. Still Pycor. living on a prayer right now. Yeah, Pycor in a precarious position because the goat is currently climbing the mountain and he is not letting go. The back air is going to take a huge chunk of damage. Rowan is at 17 health here. There it is, the up tilt follows him up. A new B isn't going to work. Shine is going to give him that little bit of stall to find another F tilt. Here we go. Still living on the last hit yeah, here. No, he's moving, oh. but the back air is going to be the call out, sending him right up. And Pycor is actually able to get the down air. We're still alive. Oh my god! That was frame perfect! <laughs> yeah, that was wild. I thought he was gonna get sent to the skies himself, but turned it around at the last second. Oh my god, finding that side B now. Oh, oh. chasing him down with the fair. That is gonna be it. Rowan's gonna be taking game two. No zeros here. Polite <laughs> claps from our Pycor. 
very much polite golf class from Pycorn right here. My man's just playing on the keyboard, bro. It's blowing my mind. Oh, He's yes. so smooth with it, too. Yeah, so as we move into our uh, our game three, we're currently 1-1 one, one set as we uh, we do the uh, the strikes. It looks like the uh, the golf politeness is going to have to come through. <laughs> That's what it looked like. We've got the golf clap. We're going to go to the golf commentary. No. Oh, yeah. You're on Pyro Station. I was thinking about it, but oh, it no, looks like we're going to be on as we uh, move in here. Well no. done. Yeah, so Three, we're going to move two, into this next game. Mama Malu. Plenty one. of platforms. They do come and go as they please, but here <laughs> we are. It looks like Ramu's going to take a little bit of the center, and then Pycor is actually going to just kind of wait it out, using his spark to uh, do the super jump. It looks like Ramu's going to be the one who finds the Nair. Oh yeah, most definitely. Both of these players showing a whole lot of respect to start this set. I can feel a little bit of that golf commentary leaking in there. Yeah, yeah it was like it was like there. It was like, mm, nah, I can't really fit with this pace. It's oh, too much. No. I need to raise my voice. I oh, need yeah. to see the violence. Oh, and then there it is, the spike. Oh, he finds the lob, and then there it is, the fair. He's got him off stage. Yes. Oh, ridiculous that start is for Rawin. That's exactly Rowan. what you want to see. And here we go, going high. He's using the side B to gain center stage. Looks like Pycor is going to poke him through with that up B. Oh my goodness, the shine dancing coming in from Rawin. He's using that as a dash. Oh my lord. Yeah, right now, man. Yeah, Pycor can get it. Oh my god, the call out! Waiting for him to uh, try and react, and he's able to just kind of wait it out and stall. And then there's the backer putting him into crit state. Off the platform, the neutral B is going to get shunted right through with the hoof. So, oh, trying to put out the flamethrower. Let's take up that range, make him pay for trying to get close. Oh, yeah, super active hitbox. If you've ever played Dalton, you know that if uh, someone wants to approach you, you want to put that in between the two of you. Exactly. Works the same way. Just take up that space. Don't let them yeah. get in for free. Oh, yeah, no, you can't let anybody do anything. And then there it is, the up air forward air. Up air is going to be the thing wow. to give uh, Pycor that, uh, that even stock that he wants. Like, he can't let, like, they can't let each other get any breathing room. No, it's yeah. It's really, really important to just smother your opponent in as many hitboxes as possible. And both these characters do that so well. Uh, even though Zhu Rong's damage output isn't as insane as a lot of other characters, she's able to force you into situations where she's able to read you and with her really fast mobility, get over to you and combo you aerially. Kid is really, really good at waiting out your, uh, like, your ground options with things like floats. Mm. Stage. You see right there how it's playing out, right? Both of these players have been very respectful of each other's options when it comes to mobility. And oh, they, yeah. Yeah, they don't want to get too close. They want to do something too risky because they know the dire consequences that await. Oh, yeah, back area is going to come down. Oh, the fair into the up tilt finds him up there at the up. Oh, man, the upper is going to get bursted out. Beautiful play from Raman, perfectly timed to find that. And then there it is, the pair is going to get punished. Oh, the side B is going to let Robin make his way in. The Stater Flip is huge in this matchup. Like, a massive uh, massive momentum boost like that is really, really important, especially on characters like Kid, and then there he is able to chase him down and put him off stage. This is such a good turnaround for Robin. It was kind of looking hopeless in that first game, but now we got the lead, who we're very close to moving on into the loser's semifinals. Oh, yeah, and then there it is. Fair, fair, fair. Unable to find the up air, but he ends up chasing him down. Oh, he ends up missing the parry! But he's still able to find the upper hand in the interaction. Eftil is going to come out from, uh, from Pycor. Shine Spike's going to come down. He's got him off stage here. Ends up uh, trying to stall out underneath, but it looks like Rowan is ready for it. Yeah, what a read from Rowan, honestly, to get back on the stage without taking damage. Oh, yeah, you can tell that these two are trying to uh, to change their playstyles up so often. That's why you'll be seeing a lot of these empty jumps as we move forward. Trying to go for the man grab. Rowan is unable to make it happen. The uppie is going to get bursted out. He tried to go for it. He knew that there was nothing to lose there because if he, uh, like, he was forced to burst. Yeah, right there. At that point, there's really no other option on the table. So he ends oh, up yeah. taking it, and we got a last hit situation on Rawin. Just trying to make the most happen on this stock oh, while they yeah. can. But my goodness, look like, at the mobility of both of these yeah, characters. These guys, it. these guys really, really love their tech. They've perfected their characters to a T, and it looks like uh, Pycor is going to try and even things out here. Going with the Shine Dance, making his way in. Yeah, Rawin with the clean stock advantage right now, but that definitely does not mean Pycor is out of it. You mentioned. Oh. Ooh, Oh, there you go. The F-Tilt chasing him down with the side B. He gets that down throw. Double up tilt. Uh-uh. Oh, fair into a Nair. He's got him off stage. Tries to chase him. Look at oh, the man. Ability. Oh, oh the parry. Huge. Beautiful. That's a spike. He's now forced to deal with the lead, forcing out that burst. 
Oh man, so no more bursts on the table. We still got two oh. stocks to go. Yeah, there it is, that down air. Oh, he hesitated just a little bit too short yet again. Finding that up till the charge, uh, the charge shine is gonna come through. <laughs> Trying to find it right there. Oh, back oh air just to stop blocking. Oh, the up B is not gonna work. Side B coming out. Oh my oh. goodness, the hezzy in the air like that caught him off guard. Oh yeah, this could be it for Pycor right now. He's off stage, he's trying to make his way in. Oh, Foley Fair is gonna get up tilted. Oh, the flames popping him over to the horns. Beautiful play from Roman. He's able to get a huge amount of damage, and then there we go. Oh. Just a little bit of charge on that set. It'll kill a little bit earlier. Pycor, things are not over yet. He's moving as fast as he possibly can. Full focus. Full gamer lean. He's going all the way in with these anime combos. The lightning coming out of his eyes. My man's is definitely in the zone right now. Oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna make that edit now. Yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. Shine dancing off the, uh, off the side. Oh! Laser. Wow. That is a, that is off of five blue specials. He's got to, he's got to do five of them. Meaning he's got to go. Uh, he's got to do five conversions. I see. In order to do that. And not only that, he's got to charge it past the four feathers. Oh my god. Oh, the lob! Oh, that's it! Oh, no! no it takes it! it. Big pop off! That's Michael. what I'm talking about. What a hell of a set right there. Oh, absolutely. Head in his hands, the emotions coming through. Yeah, big hug for these two. You know, you didn't, you wouldn't think like they were so, uh, uh, like they were so connected and they're so, uh, just, they are really, really in for it. Yeah. Oh my lord. You can tell these two players definitely respect each other's skill oh, yeah. a lot. Despite no, their rivalry. Like. Exactly, right? That's something that's really cool about fighting games and seeing two players have a rivalry. Even if there's like some animosity or some trash talk, a lot of the time when they play it out, like it's just one of those things you go to, it's like real life fighting. When you go to war with somebody, even when you come out of it, even if you have some animosity before, you just have respect for them afterwards. Oh, and when yeah. they're on that level and you actually put in hours upon hours, that blood, sweat, and tears that we talk about that go into making these top eights at EVO, I mean, you you can do nothing but respect your opponent because you know they left it all out there.